There is a lot of commotion going on at a pretty peaceful location of Jacksonville. It's a topic that's buzzing in the San Marco community, a new development that's catching people by surprise. On your side, Andrew Badillo explains. It's another absolutely perfect day on the San Marco Riverwalk. People have been coming here for years to enjoy sunsets, go fishing, and even enjoy a nice charcuterie board here and there. But this peaceful oasis has another addition. Check it out right behind me, this barge with this crane. What is being built here? Well, it came as a surprise to people who have been coming to this peaceful getaway for years. I just kind of opened the window one morning and I was like, oh, whoa, that's... That's massive. It was Emily Jeffries' reaction when this crane blocked her skyline view. She got a flyer on her door from the city of Jacksonville saying it was building a fishing pier on the Riverwalk. I'm sure it'll be like nice for people who do want to come out here and fish to have kind of a better spot to fish from. George Smith has been fishing here for years. He welcomed the temporary noise into his little bubble. I asked one of the other anglers what was going on. He told me they were building a fishing pier, and I said, great. While there was overwhelmingly positive feedback from residents and visitors, they all shared the same concern. Yeah, there really isn't that much parking here at all. Um, I mean, I guess it would be good for residents in walking distance that would want to go use the pier. The city did say that they will add no additional parking, but the congestion is well worth building up one of Jacksonville's gems. The water is an escape for people. It kind of makes you feel a sense of calm and relief, so I think that's why a lot of people come out. Now, as far as daily construction goes, construction workers said they start at 7 in the morning and end around 5 p.m. in the evening. And as far as working on the weekends, the workers also didn't rule that out. In San Marco, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side. Thank you. Well, the university